I never thought that he would grow up to be a DJ. Jay was the centerpiece of the stage. He would cut that run, 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 run. We're from Run DMC, and we support Joe Clark 100%. They were like superheroes to us. Breaking news, a member of Run DMC is dead. Someone hit me on the phone and he said to me, like, did you hear about Jay? And I was like, nah, what happened to Jay? He walked right over to Jay and fired around immediately without any conversation at all. Inside the studio, Lydia was in there on the floor crying. Tony Rukon was on the couch, shot, and Jay was on the floor dead. I just want to tell everybody we thank we thank everybody for all their support and their condolences. Is that normal for an investigation like this for all of these conflicting theories to be out there at one time complicating an investigation. They're making my client the main suspect in this case. If he's the main suspect, he's not talking. There were uh, some threats to some of our witnesses. He goes, I'm going to go in your car and, and take her out. And I'm like, no, you're not. No crime happens without some form of witness. Nobody wants to see running DMC without Jay. There was a perception at the time and even now that the NYPD didn't care about Jam Master Jay's murder because he was a black rapper. But if he was someone else, oh, they would have had the person. No doubt. A grand jury returned an indictment charging uh, two defendants. It's such a weak date homicide case that they didn't bring it over the last 20 years. Whoever they said is doing it, did they really do it? Do you remember where you were the first time you heard that Jam Master Jay had been killed? 